Hello, hello, hello chaps. Uh, this is a quick video to show you how to install Age of Wonders, the original Age of Wonders from 1999 or whenever it was that they made it, and how to get it working on Windows 10. So I've just installed it from goodoldgames.com or gog.com. I prefer it to Steam. I prefer that game vendor to Steam. So now that I've installed it, um, I'm going to click on this, go to the to the place I just installed it to, and I'm going to go into Setup. Now, something I like to check with Setup is I like to run it in compatibility mode, even though this is just the Setup program, and I honestly can't remember if doing any of this stuff in the Setup program actually helps you or is important, but I think a few years ago I thought it might. So anyway, I do that, and then I go into Settings. Now, if you play it in a resolution, I don't think you can Alt-Tab in and out of the game, I think if you do that, then the graphics will, will bug out. The graphics will duplicate and turn purple if you do that. So I prefer to play it in a window, uh, because if you play it in a window, it will start small, but you can then adjust the window size to any uh, extension that you like. Um, so that's all you have to do here. Also, sometimes with Age of Wonders 2, um, it will manage to deselect English as the language. So if Age of Wonders 2 stops working, then you might want to check the language in the setup, see that it still has your language selected instead of no language. Um, I don't know if that's ever a problem with, with Age of Wonders 1, probably not, but they are kind of a similar engine. So once you've done that, the next thing to do is to go into aow.exe properties, and it looks it looks like it's actually saved, it saved this stuff from the last time I had it installed, which is a bit annoying for the purposes of making this video. So this thing restores some of the um, visual effects in Age of Wonders 2, probably does the same thing in Age of Wonders 1 as well. Uh, then running it in compatibility mode and run as administrator, I, I actually can't remember if that does anything, but it won't, it, it, I just like to do it to be on the safe side. So the next thing you want to do is, there is a problem that sometimes happens. Um, with Age of Wonders these days, which is you, you load into a map or a battle and it will come up with loads of error messages about the show scene error and other sort of graphical related visual error messages and the game basically gets locked up because you're just deluged in error messages. So what you have to do then is you have to Google Age of Wonders show scene patch and what it will come up with is hopefully the GitHub um, int 19h github uh, so you go you scroll down to releases where it has release, releases there um, you download this it's going to download and then you extract it so I've got extract all then you click on this you do that it'll automatically find where you have it installed I think or you just need to browse to the correct location um, so you apply and then that will fix it. Now, um, let's just... The game should work fine now, but there's a couple of things I would recommend after this. So you start up the game. Um, and the main menu... kind The menus look a bit shit now because uh, because of the... Um, because it's too large in this window size. But you can do this as well. If you prefer the original, uh, the original graphical size, you could do this. Or you could just do it full screen by not selecting windowed mode, uh, but I prefer full screen. I think it looks really great when when you load into a map on full screen, you can see like huge expanses of the map on your screen all at the same time. I definitely prefer that. Like look how much of this map you can see right now. Um, so anyway, something I like to do is I like to make sure that the gameplay is set to very fast movement. And also if you're playing a single player, with these huge AI stacks and you've got like 30 units on each side or 24 AI units from three stacks and you've got like 16 units to manage. Uh, you could also use Cheat Engine. So download Cheat Engine, um, press this icon, select Age of Wonders and then enable speed hack which works on any program with no preparation. You can apply that and then you can see that Everything is just speeded up, so it's lightning fast. That's a pretty good thing to do with these huge AI battles uh, against AI players. So that's how to get the game working in 2020 on Windows 10.